This time we were moving through the small streets here in Stone Town. Hey, green my brothers. Nice, nice. And we just experienced a nice, beautiful showers of blessing. That's where we all look. Yeah. Like we, got, we got hit with a tropical storm. how people make their way around and find where they need to go but I guess it's like being trapped in one of them subdivisions that's like a maze and you, and you have to while you know your way out and definitely have to be careful huh? movements is going on so you most of the time you just gotta stay left and keep away from the right side to oncoming traffic. Like our tour guide has been talking about, uh, buildings being protected and some coming down and some getting renovated, some getting modified. Just a whole lot of things going on here. Building now is under reconstruction. Reconstruction. Your tennis. But this is Tip Tip House. Oh, this is his house? Yes. Oh, okay. Of course, his house. Uh, yeah. house. Of course, his house. Tip Tip. The largest slave trader? Mm -hmm. Yes, the very famous trader in East Africa. Taking the slaves from Congo to Central yes. Africa to Zanzibar for clothes plantations. He died in 1905. It was somewhere around here. Nobody knows where it is. Well, hopefully he died somewhere. a terrible death. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hopefully he died a thousand that times was, over and yes. over. And again, they get a picture of the scaffolds. Not metal ones, just the wooden ones.
One photo, one dollar. You got to give him. You got to give him shillings, cause that the dollar bill is not gonna get him no exchange. You give him one, I give him. <laughs> That's funny. Because he be a smart that man. That man ain't playing. He's full of cigarettes. Man, he already told you one, one four to one dollar. <laughs> That's funny, man. He's full of cigarettes. He's ready to fight. You need him and them because it's changing people. Yes, my brother. How are you? Uh oh. How did you wanna? Huh? <laughs> what? He say, he say. Oh. What? Cool. Hey, I guess he wants to know if anybody want any herbs. <laughs> <laughs> and not the one that you eat, the one you smoke. I <laughs> were? Yeah, they were. Oh, no, I'm good. I'm, I'm good, you know? Alcohol free, drug free. Uh, party free, all that good thing. <laughs> so family, anybody that's watching this, I am a saint. But we do we do socialize and have a good time also. No? Yes we are. A little bit of roots and culture, a little bit of excitement. But uh, seriously, family, enjoy, enjoy. Yeah. You like to meditate, meditate. It's all good. Like uh, you like the tropical drinks. Let's keep them coming. A few people are just coming along. So, family, th these are uh, enclosures are tight, and I literally don't see the sequence of how someone like myself would be able to make it around without getting lost. So that's why you just have to have a tour guide. It's a good thing. Support the local economy. Hire a tour guide so you don't get lost back here. We got lost back there. Did you know that already? No. It's, we it's, literally were lost. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's, it's that wild. So we asked the people, Americans, which way? And they showed us. <laughs> it's an African house. Well, that's right. why I said we need to walk the talkies, man. Yeah. Good job. You should give one to your brother. Give one, give one to Rakim. I didn't bring him this time. I think they don't want anything interesting. This is the perfect situation. Right? Perfect, man. You know, brother, honestly, that's, that's how we grow as a people. And we, you know, we educate and learn from experience. Yeah. What you just said it was a great idea about the walkie talkies. Yeah. Especially for the tour guide and then one or two people. Especially if we have like four. We're going to coordinate because not all the time we have local phones and then WhatsApp is not going to work unless you have a network. This uh, uh, guy, just give us uh, one, one more minute. No, I'm, I'm letting them know that you guys are taking the photos. I'm trying to get them to hold. The, 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 the queen herself. <laughs> And this is... Tell me, I'm ready to proceed. They're, they're almost finished. Put my tata. Hey. Yeah. I, 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 yeah. I just love the Swahili terminology. Uh, family is beautiful. This, you know? And we have a nice book with a few pages of some good translation to help you get around. You know? 
this is literally incredible. And it looks good right here. And there is family road. Well, that, that is the Indian Ocean. Or I should, call, or I should say what? Africa Ocean, right? How become the Indian Ocean? Yeah, what kind of propaganda is that? Shouldn't it be the Africa Ocean? Well, it should be, yeah. A lot of stuff should be Africa. <laughs> That's so African good. Now. Get him, get him. We're learning about the Germans and Indians and uh, the Arabs. They're going to teach. They're going to teach. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're going to create a declaration right now and we're going to just all approve it. Indian Ocean is now the Africa Ocean. <laughs> <laughs> After the rain, family, things are drying off, and now it's time for sunshine. Well, my brain is not too many people. Last night, it said 70% today. Uh, in Stone Town well, or tomorrow, in. Uh, so the good thing is we're on the north coast and it's set for a perfect dry weather. The only time you're gonna get wet is when you jump in the ocean and get a nice little swim. Welcome to my house. Oh, okay. Inside here. I'm meeting my uh, 